Hi, I am Philippe Bascol and I am the director of winemaking here at Inglenook. I'm Alex Lovick, I'm the estate chef at Inglenook. I remember Gemma when she still worked here, she would bring this up a lot. We had an example about a bouquet of roses and that if all the roses were different colors, they wouldn't, ah, it yes. wouldn't be as elegant as if the bouquet of roses was all one color, so white or red or whatever. And that's something that's really stuck with me over time as far as uh, what elegance is and how it registers to the person experiencing it. Mm -hmm. And to me, as I've thought about that over the years, it's really evolved into this combination of things being, being the definition of what I, my definition of what elegance is. And it's something that A, has to be familiar. It doesn't have to be defined clearly, but experientially it has to be familiar in some way. And then secondly, it's simplicity. That in a way, simple things can lend to a more elegant experience more directly. It's a quicker contact with the experience, I think. But it's also, at least with food, it's a lot harder to do. Because the, the more you take away, for example, in a dish of food, the, the less the chef has to hide behind. Because you can put a piece of meat on there and then you can put all these you know, beautiful mushrooms and all kinds of little decorative greens and whatever else. But at the end of the day, um, if you truly have good technique and beautiful ingredients, you can have really just one thing and have it connect with the guests in a way that something more complex wouldn't have. So for me, that's another really big thing that I've gotten from Philippe and that's really been sort of simmering for me in the back of my mind for a long time about this concept of elegance and the reason that it's so important is because it's it's the connection. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a connection between the producer and the consumer. Right, exactly. And so if the consumer doesn't understand what the, the producer wanted to show, I think it's not, uh, it's not uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I think the consumer has to, to understand. But sometimes, the first time you have it, you know, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. So some, it's not familiar. Right. So you don't understand. Then you have to repeat the experience, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you need some uh, communication. Right. Just uh, and so it's a reason sometimes you come to the table and just to you explain what you wanted to, mm -hmm. to achieve. Because for some people, maybe it doesn't make sense. Right. So they need some communication, some education to understand. Mm -hmm. And then next time they will have a big emotion. Right, I think right. It's really about understanding. Right.